Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back in the shop tonight. It's been a while. It's probably been a week, I think, since the last video. Uh, it's, I've been super swamped with work and just, it's summertime. I got two kids. Uh, so anytime outside of work, I want to kind of hang out with them as much as I can. And we've been swimming and just all kinds of stuff on the weekend, so. Anyways, I have been working. I haven't been doing a whole lot on the Vader, but I have been doing a little bit on the on the old Chewbacca. And I wanted to show you all exactly what I've been doing. So the first thing I did was I, I created a model in, I actually created it in ZBrush. And then I, I put it over in Blender. I actually like modeling and or sculpting in Blender a little bit better, I guess. I don't know it's maybe just the I don't know what it is about it but ZBrush is awesome it's an amazing program uh, blender is a free program of course um, I'm using the trial version right now ZBrush and I know that's gonna go away eventually so I've just been trying to do strictly sculpting in blender but let me show you what I got here so look at this chewy face I got here see if I can get my ring light to not light up in there but I've got Chewy's head that I sculpted in ZBrush and then I put it in Blender it's just his bald head Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit and this is actually a refined model I've been working on this off and on for couple of weeks this model but I went ahead and printed it uh, I don't know it was probably the after the first after I got the first initial form of his face and exactly how I wanted it I went ahead and printed it on my 3d printers and I put it on my I put it on a block of wood so that I could do a I want to do a mold of his face and so I just put the print I printed just the front half of his face, and then I also printed the back, which is right here, and got some paint on it. This is <laughs> the back part of his head. So like, right here, like from this part of my hat back is, is the back part of his head. And then I've got the front part that I printed uh, a couple weeks ago. So what I'm doing now, or what I've been doing, is I've been putting uh, some modeling clay on top of that print and trying to get all, this, all the features, uh, like the little wrinkles, you know, the wrinkles on his forehead, um, just the little creases that are just barely, there's these barely little creases on the side of his, where his, uh, the corner of his mouth, and then, of course, his lips, and then there's like a little, the little part right here, there's a crease, there's a crease in the middle of his nose. And then there's some like under his eyes. I've been trying to get all that with clay uh, so that when I do the silicone or when I do the mold over top of it, uh, it'll be, it'll have all those, all those things on it. Because my, my goal is to make a silicone mold that I can reuse, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I've never done it. So this is going to be a uh, first on, I'm on camera. If I mess up, I'll mess up, but I'll just do it again. I've got the print. I did the model already, so it, all it is is printing it and and re-sculpting it with the clay on top of it, which I can do that. But anyways, so I'm gonna show you a time lapse right now of me doing the mold or doing the sculpt with clay on top of the 3D print, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I don't know if. If you guys want to see something that I'm not like, if I'm not explaining something good enough, just let me know in the comments. I will try to do a whole. I'll try to go over that, you know, in a video, because I, I kind of just throw these these videos together of of me working out here in the shop, and I don't. There's not a whole lot of thought that goes into it. I'm just kind of documenting what I'm doing to these builds. Um, there's other channels that will go into detail about every little, you know, every little thing that they do and how they do it. And I just, I honestly, I don't have time to sit down and edit all of those, those kind of videos. So 
you're kind of stuck with just some this ugly dude making things in a shop <laughs> but if y'all want to see something you know more in depth let me know send me a comment um i i don't have a problem trying to you know do that but anyways guys i hope you enjoy this time lapse of me uh of making chewbacca's face his bald face i'll eventually put hair on it whenever i have the mask so y'all enjoy it
All right, everybody. So that's pretty much going to do it for the sculpting of Chewbacca's face. I still got a little bit of smoothing out like on the sides here. I'm not going to worry about that too much though because I mean it's skin. It's going to be covered in hair whenever I get done. Anyways, the main parts that I'm going to focus on getting really smooth there's going to be right here uh, on the lips just around the lips and around the nose right in this area this area right here because that's not covered in hair <clears throat> but that's pretty good that's pretty it pretty much it right there chewy face chewy bald face i had some comments uh that it looks like what's his name dang it sons of anarchy the dad oh uh, gosh i can't think of his name right now but whenever i whenever it comes to your mind you'll know exactly what i'm talking about it's uh the guy that played hellboy <laughs> i can't remember his freaking name but anyways i had some comments that it looks like him and it does they have a lot of similar features honestly like their their uh, cheekbone the cheekbone of chewy is very similar to his but anyways that's chewy face I hope you guys like the time lapse. I've never done one of those. I've never done one before like that. I just set my phone to hyperlapse. Every time I came out here out and I would sculpt something on it, I turned it on and I tried to get every bit of it that I could, but some of it I, I did miss. But I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. And I'm actually working on on the printer here. Actually, let me pop them off. I might as well. They just finished while I was working on the last working on the last bit the last little section of the or last piece of that time lapse is some some chewy feet so I modeled this in in blender I did all of this one in blender oh, let me see it should, it should be like this and I don't know if you can tell, but it's got the it's got the uh, toenails in it. So this is just going to be kind of the same way I did the uh, I did the freaking face or the mask or that I'm doing the mask. I haven't finished it yet. Uh, I'm going to set these up uh, on a block of wood, and then I'm going to sculpt the clay on top of it so I can get all the little wrinkles and all that good stuff there's some of that in there already like some of the main shape like all the toenails you can see the toenails but I'm gonna this is just kind of like a base for for putting the clay on and then I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the the mask well, that's the that's the Chewbacca feet all right guys that's gonna do it for this one uh, Tomorrow night, I'm going to come out here and try to... I've got to do another coat of the of primer on some of the Vader. Which this is... This one's ready for paint. But the, the main dome has given me a... It's given me quite the challenge. It's just... The main part right here on the left-hand side where I had to... Uh, where I messed up when I glued glued the pieces together kind of wrong that part has been kicking my butt but I think I got it now I just need to spray it with some filler primer and uh, then I'll hit it with black but yeah I hope you guys like this if you're not subscribed subscribe uh, channels growing I mean it's growing pretty fast I've only been doing this for uh, gosh four months three months I don't know I've lost track but uh, yeah, it's growing, and I appreciate every single one of you guys and girls that are subscribing and liking my channel. Uh, I'm going to keep doing it, keep on making stuff. So y'all stay tuned, and y'all have a good one. Bye.